Number 1. The equation above relates the number of minutes, x, Maria spends running each day and the number of minutes, y, she spends biking each day. In the equation, what does the number 75 represent? Since we have x, which is the number of minutes she spends running, plus y, the number of minutes she spends biking, this will be the total amount of time that she spends doing both. So if we read A, it says the number of minutes she spends running. That's just x, not x plus y. B is the number of minutes spent biking each day. That's just y. So it can't be B. C is the total number of minutes spent running and biking. That sounds like our answer. And then D says, D says the number of minutes spent biking, each minute spent running, which is not the answer. So answer choice C for number one. Number two, which of the following is equivalent to three times x plus five minus six? The first step is going to be to distribute the three on the outside. Three times x is three x. 3 times 5 is 15, minus 6. Here we'll have 3x, 15 minus 6 is going to be plus 9. And as you can see, this will be answer choice C. Number 3, which ordered pair satisfies the system of equations above? To solve a system of equations, our objective first is to get one of the variables by itself. Since here we already have x by itself, we can plug in what x equals into x in the other equation. So for the equation in the bottom, instead of x, we're going to plug in what x is equal to, which is y minus 3 over 2 plus 2y equals 6. To get rid of this denominator of 2, we're going to multiply everything by 2. 2 first the first term times the first term gets rid of the denominator and leaves us with y minus 3. 2 times the second term gives us plus 4y. And 2 times the last term, 2 times 6 is 12. y plus 4y is 5y minus 3 equals 12. We can add 3 to both sides. And we'll get 5y equals 15. And the last step will be to divide each side by 5. And we'll get y equals 3. So if y equals 3, and we look at our answer choices, only one of them has the y value as 3, which is answer choice B. Number four, which of the following complex numbers is equal to 5 plus 12i minus 9i squared minus 6i? The first step for number four is to distribute the negative in the middle of the parentheses. This will give us, this will give us 5 plus 12i minus 9i squared plus 6i. We can combine like terms. 12i plus 6i is going to give us 18i. And i squared is negative 1. Here we have negative 9 times i squared. This will be negative 9 times negative 1. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. And we'll have 5 plus 9 plus 18i. 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 18i is the answer choice D. Number 5, if f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 1 over x minus 1, what is f of negative 1? In the original equation, we have f of x, and the question is asking for f of negative 1. We're replacing x with negative 1, and we're going to do the same in the equation. Instead of x, we're going to write negative 1. So we'll have negative 1 squared minus 6 times negative 1 plus 3 
over negative 1 minus 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 6 times positive, uh, negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 plus 3. Over negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10. Over negative 2 is negative 5, which will be answer choice A. If you learned something new in this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get a higher SAT score. I'll see you in the next one.